Bronson, the record collection. <sighs> Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Thanks for watching. We're going to do a little album review action right here, but before we get into that, I want to tell you guys first, there's a link in the D-Box to a website, scenemags.com, where I do video reviews for them as well for other albums. And I took on the new John Legend Roots collaboration, Wake Up. It's a pretty decent LP. Uh, go check the review. Bam. And also linked in the D-Box on the needledrop.com is an album of Russian hip-hop instrumentals which leads you to a label where you can find more Russian hip-hop instrumentals. Yeah, they exist. And on our Twitter account, we are so close to 2,000 followers, it's not even funny. I'd like to jump that hump, just like we jumped 10,000 subscribers. So, twitter.com slash the needle drop. Mark Ronson is an English musician and a DJ, and this is his third LP record collection. Back in 2007, Ronson raised eyebrows with his album Version, a full release of cover songs that got him way more kudos in the UK than it did in the US. I guess Americans just weren't ready to hear Britney Spears' Toxic remade with Old Dirty Bastard spitting rhymes and uh, a saxophone. That LP, love it or hate it, at least displayed a wide array of tastes for Ronson. He's clearly a guy that has his fingers in a lot of different pies musically. And that's displayed in the collaborations and the feature list for his past albums. He's worked with Jack White, Rivers Cuomo, Rhymefest, Most Def, Robbie Williams, Lily Allen. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. The record collection is the next chapter in Mark Ronson's ever-widening musical palette. And if you want to get a whiff of this LP, one would not need to look further than its first single, Bang Bang Bang. That track is loaded with electro-pop synths, really quirky group vocals, some French lyrics, break beats, a hook sung by the electro-pop outfit Mandar, and Q-Tip of A Tribe Called Quest fame actually comes in and spits a lot of great verses. That track is like neon-colored hip-pop. It's as diverse as it is fun. It stays engaging by mixing so many different influences together at once. And the next couple of tracks follow a similar suit with different singers, different MCs, another one of them being Ghostface Killa. But this thing really hits a dry spot for me in the middle. It's extremely, extremely front-loaded. It kind of drifts away from the hip-hop influences and goes toward synth-pop balladry on the track You Gave Me Nothing to Hold On To, which for me has a really mediocre beat. And I guess the album figures that while it's throwing all these tracks at me that I don't really care for, it might as well incorporate a lot of filler instrumentals as well. Thankfully, this album gets a hold of itself by the last third and starts working with the same magic that made the opening track so good. Just genre-crossing beats, strong MCs, and a variety of singers, some of them being the London Gay Men's Choir. And I just have this nagging, nagging feeling that this album is reminding me of something that I've already heard this year. It just has so much in common, from my point of view, with the Gorillaz album Plastic Beach, in that it's trying to jump from influence to influence. It's trying to cross over. It's trying to just blend things together to the point where you don't recognize them. However, it's doing it in a much less ambitious, artistic, and interesting way. But don't get me wrong, Ronson's heart is really in the right place on this one. My issue is just that a lot of these tracks end up in a bland, bland, spot for me. This album's best moments just kind of stay in their little safe electro hip-hop bubble, if you know what I'm saying. It could have been a lot more adventurous, in my opinion. Cal, what do you what do you think about the record collection? <laughs> what do you mean? That thing? No, I, I didn't mean that record collection. Oh, okay, good. Because that's full of hipster garbage and bull... <laughs> For me, this album is kind of like an alright five. I'm really on the fence with it, and not because the whole thing is boring, but it has a lot of highs, but just as many lows. There are a couple tracks that I would take away from this, especially the singles, and I wouldn't be surprised if most people did the same. But let me know. 
what you think of this LP. What is your favorite track? What are you liking about it? What are you hating about it? And that's the review. Anthony Fantano, Mark Ronson, The Record Collection, Forever.